many people moved to New York to hide. The city can be like your own little corner of the world, an escape from drama and distractions. Unfortunately, no place is perfect. Distractions are a constant. Mom, don't you get it? I'm too dumb to go to college. I'm just stupid. As is drama. Ooh, those sides sound real dramatic. Well, if I had the pickings that some girls do. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just saying. Seven in me casorte, no no This bitch. Oh ah, my God, see. oh, this poor dog's nostrils had you no shame. I'm sorry, oh. I'm a little nervous. Oh. It's this audition Ruby got me. I haven't done any opera since college. Oh, don't worry, you know, I just need Oh my shopping. God. You know what? I'm going to rehearsal. Jehovah's Witnesses? Baby dance! Oh, sugar pie! Preston! <laughs> but sometimes, when you least expect it, your safe haven can be infiltrated by the very things or people you've tried desperately to get away from. Oh my! Oh, who's been passing gas in here? Preston! So your own little corner has been disrupted. How do you find tranquility? Reclaim your space. Mama! Get out! Oh, oh do no. no such thing, sugar pie. What are you guys doing here? Well, Julia and Daisy told me about the show opening this week, and I wouldn't miss that for the world. We uh -huh. all just oh. had to come. Oh. But now that I see this apartment, I'm having second thoughts. Wait! Mm -hmm. You all talk to each other? Oh yeah, mothers must unite. <laughs> 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 Has she been drinking? Well, just, just, just a little something to take the edge off of seeing an ungrateful son who didn't even invite me to his big debut. I gotta go to rehearsal. Well, I'm coming too. Wait a minute. Leave me alone. Don't stop hating me. Now, family has a way of disrupting even the most serene locales. I said I need a romelade, and if I can't get a romelade, then I shan't eat. I just shan't. Mother, please, I'm trying to concentrate. All of these people here are trying to concentrate so that they can do well in book work, and you're making it more difficult than it already is. Work? Your father's business, that was work. This, this is just... It's not about that, Mother. Oh, the way you speak to me, it's simply shameful. And you know that I adopted Preston at six months, and the only thing he got from me was a sassy mouth. Whatever, Mother! Just please try to. Ah! The sauce is too thick. Oh, that's preposterous. Your name is Daisy? Yeah. Shut up! No. That is only my favorite flower in the world. Ever, ever! Oh, isn't she adorable? Davis, if you ever decide. Uh, to don't even go there, Mama. I'm as sweet as Granny's tea. Oh, why is it that whenever you're around, my accent just creeps up? Ugh. Stop trying to hide who you are, sugar pie. You see, this is why we're here. Do you tell? After he called me crying about how much of a fat failure he was for the fourth time. Jokes. <laughs> She's joking. She's got jokes. I went over to the free <laughs> public library to see how I could help my sugar pie. And then, bingo! A life coach. You are truly a wise and perceptive individual. I swear by Dr. Joe's work, I've been coming here for five years and look at me now. <laughs> Clearly this is going to be a bust. Well, this has been a very interesting break. Mm. It was so nice meeting you, Miss Jones. <laughs> Remember, no glove, no love. Of course. Mm, he must be the woman in the relationship. Harriet, you are so clueless. Well, fill me in. Let's talk. You been going to your meetings and stuff? Well, you know I try my best, but see, when I get home from see, work, I, I am it. so tired. Hey, why. I heard Jeremiah's mother was going to be at the run-through today. Now, this is a nice young man. 
and handsome too. Harriet's this is Donovan. Right. Donovan, ooh. Sit down, honey. Sit down and let me tell you a little bit about Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Robbie needs to see you in the production office. You have a superlative spirit. Thanks so much. You were a really great guy. Well, thank you. And your talents are exuberant. Loads of talent, really. I'm glad you think so. Well, I like to think so at times. <laughs> and I honestly believe that you have a bright future ahead. And your future is so brilliant, even the stars are jealous. <laughs> okay, Dr. Joe. Let's get to the point. Okay, Robbie, so let's get to it. What's up? You're also a walking disaster. This is a business. It's about dollars and cents at the end of the day. It's not personal. You reek of desperation, wear failure on your sleeve. Sometimes we take chances believing there'll be big returns in the end. Now this is all puzzling because those unattractive qualities are not a natural part of your being. Sometimes we're wrong. They're intruders. Sometimes uh, we realize that a certain piece of the puzzle just doesn't fit. But until you decide that they cannot be a part of your being, they'll continue to contaminate your existence. That it shouldn't be there. So you only have one option, today. We don't think you're the right fit for the show anymore. Tell them to get the hell out. We're bumping Julian. You played magnificently. Uh, I was just trying to do you justice. <laughs> oh, shut up. Uh, it was great playing for you. Hello? Mother? Yes, it went well. Where are you? Are you okay? You know how it is when family swoops in. I just wish... I just wish she would be a little more supportive. Listen, Preston. I support you. I... I care for you. What I'm trying to say is... Just now... Don't say anything. Just... Just think, okay? Just, just think. If you had been practicing like I always told oh, you. Oh, Harry, are you, you trying to make me more miserable? Well, because you don't have to try. It's an actual gift you have. What? I look, look at it this way. Look, um, we can spend more time together. No, I don't want to spend more time with you. Until I was 18, all I could dream about was just leaving you, and I just wish you would take your broke alcoholic self home and leave me be. So, my callback, it went really, really well. That's great. Is everything okay? Yeah. Could you take care of the garbage in the back? When people invade your private little corner of the world, your safe haven, you have to ask why. <sighs> I don't know why I'm dating him. It's such a waste of time. Look at things on the bright side. If you didn't date him, you would have never met me. Very true, thanks to Rod. Speaking of which, I thought he was meeting us here tonight. Ethan said he went to dinner with somebody. I don't remember who. My back is hurting. Could you grab it for me, please? I'm wasted. Get to it. <laughs> Maybe certain people invade our space to shake things up, to change the landscape inspire new feelings. Well, the dishes are done, the bathroom's been cleaned, and the sidewalk degummed. Cool. Could you do some spot mopping? Of course a little stick. Listen. I get it. I do. I mean, the whole work thing, boundaries. Is there something I can do to make things a little less awkward between us? Yeah, you could spot mom. And maybe certain intruders come in disguise. We let them in and they just end up wreaking havoc. 
I'm telling you, these uh, these New York drivers, they really got skill, baby. Well, if you hadn't yelled at me while I was crossing the street, none of this would have ever happened. Well, you were, you were crossing on the hand. And, and, and I'm a mother. And a mother worries. I'm sorry, I worry. Well, I'm a New Yorker now, and I jaywalk. Well, New Yorkers jaywalk. Well, Jeremy, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sorry. And just maybe some intrusions are necessary. Maybe when you let the outside into your private space and open yourself up, you also have an opportunity to let go, to get rid of the waste. Mom, I'm sorry. I do not <laughs> I'm sorry. And maybe, just maybe, once you let yourself go, you won't need to hide in your own little corner. Maybe then you can truly breathe. I threw myself into the spotlight and things were fine and I was alright. Made you laugh inside.